Hello everyone, this is Aegis, and here is the first game between- or no, this is the second game, I mean, between Avilo and Lunatone PKM. Lunatone, the uh, red Protoss player from UMBC, and Avilo, the green Terran player from uh, Hood College. This is the Collegiate Masters Star League, sponsored by SteelSeries and Monster Energy Drink. SteelSeries, check them out at SteelSeries.com. And last game was a bunch of cheese by a Lunatone. It did get stopped by Avilo. We'll see if Avilo is uh, g gonna win another one and take it 2-0, or if uh, Lunatone is gonna come back and uh, uh, win it 2-1. Uh, and this is Zelnaga Caverns. Uh, Avilo did veto Blistering Sands, and uh, Lunatone vetoed Delta Quadrant in this match up. And it does look like the uh, Supply Depot is going in the backside. Uh, Lunatone getting pylons in his b own base. Uh, it's not the same build this time. He does have his probe now scouting a standard right after the pylon. Uh, we'll see if he decides to go for a 12 gateway. Yes, he does. There's a 12 gateway coming up. Uh, gonna pause probe production just for a second to be able to get that up. Does look like uh, the APM for Avilo still uh, averaging uh, 300. A uh, Lunatone just a little bit slower than that. Avilo getting his uh, barracks over here. Gonna be walling off at his mineral line once again. Again, Terran buildings can lift, so it'll free up this gas so that the SCVs don't have to mine along this path later on. Probes coming out for a Lunatone. Um, yeah. This was the Collegiate Master Star League. It was a great event. We had so much pizza. Um, it made people sick of pizza. Uh, imagine that. <laughs> so, but it was it was great. It does look like the probe is chasing an SCV. That SCV is going to check out here to see if there's any cheese going on. Is not going to find anything. Avilo should be pulling that back right away. I'm going to get that guy right back to mining, or perhaps use it as a scout. Uh, yeah, Avilo has not scouted yet, so he should be bringing that out as a scout. That marine is going to check around the backside of the base. Uh, Avilo is wary of the cheese now. He wants to make sure that none of that is going on in his, inside his base. Does look like he's doing the double barracks opening once again. Uh, Lunatone getting a second gateway as well as a cybernetics core. And the uh, SCV is going to move over here and uh, get met up with a zealot. The zealot is going to let it run by. It's like, yeah, sure, it's okay. You're one of us. Nizella is not a great gatekeeper in this case. Avilo is gonna uh, not micro his SCV. Uh oh, might get taken out. Oh yes, the SCV does get taken out there. Lunatone will be able to free to do whatever tech he wishes. Perhaps even go for another gateway and do the Sentry expand. Avilo now moving his barracks into a more optimal position. Gonna start his command center and go for that fast expand. Is now also grabbing the double gas at his main. Lunatone is chrono boosting out stalkers now, perhaps going to go for that two gate uh, stalker rush. Um, we'll be able to warp in additional gateways as the rush is going on. Right now grabbing the second gas. Uh, yeah, that second gas should have indicated to me that it was not a century fast expand. Uh, sorry about that, I did not notice that. Lunatone moving his probe over here, going to be checking for that expansion. And going to move up the ramp to see what's up. Is going to see that bunker. Did he see that bunker? No, he didn't move up the ramp fully. Uh, if he does see the bumper, bunker, he'll know that something strange is going up, perhaps a expansion or teching. Lunato now moving forward with three stalkers, and is Zelot going to be taking control of this uh, Zelnaga watchtower temporarily? Um, but is going to advance that SCV is still scouting around on the outside. Avilo throwing down additional bunkers and getting his uh, factory up now. Lunatone building a pylon over here has completed his uh, warp gate research, so he will be able to warp in units to do a contain here. He's going to try to force field that ramp while getting his uh, expansion up. Does look like the SCV is scouting over here, does see the two gates. Uh, we'll see if he decides to bust out of here sometime soon. Avilo is going to be patient, going to continue getting those marines, perhaps wait for a sea shank or something. I'm going to continue using his orbital command inside his main. Two sentries patiently waiting to get used on the uh, 
force fielding to keep Avilo inside his base. The uh, factory now lifting, going to be switching over to uh, the tech lab. One of the bunkers getting salvaged there, perhaps looking to move out sometime soon. Does look like the siege mode research is going to go up first, and then a siege tank is going to be thrown down. Lunato now getting the robotics facility, and his expansion is now finishing up that stalker. Also checking around to see if there's anything strange going on. This SCV parking over here going to give him some extra vision. More zealots being spawned up front. Uh, Lunatone is going to be able to keep a good contain until that siege tank with siege mode is complete. Then he's going to have to back up all the way to his base and lose that pylon. Uh, does look like Avilo is still being patient. Probably going to try to move out once siege mode is complete, or perhaps wait for the second tank. Observers are also on the way for Lunatone, going to be able to keep an eye on the Terran army. Also throwing down the Colossus stand, going to be able to get those Colossus. That one's all poking up the ramp to see what's up, and the Avilo's orbital command is now floating uh, to the natural expansion. Does look like the push out is going to happen real soon. The Marines and the tank getting selected. Does look like the Marines in the uh, bunker are being rallied to the front. Uh, that one the supply depot also getting uh, lifted. Uh, siege mode is complete. Going to be uh, sieging up those tanks real soon, and there's the siege up. It does look like a force field going down and going to prevent the marines from moving out. The siege tank still blasting away. The orbital command actually acting as spotting. Uh, another force field going down. Great positioning by the sentry is going to be able to continue force fielding that ramp. Uh, the orbital command should be able to give vision to the tanks though. Uh, the uh, sentry is moving forward. Going to get blasted by the tanks. Uh, that one tank killing off one sentry. The force field still keeping Avilo in his base. And the sentries are going to start wailing away at that orbital command. Uh, another force field going down. Uh, going to continue keeping Avilo inside his base. He's getting another command center. Uh, we'll see what uh, he, exactly he's trying to do. Perhaps a double expand. He's continuing to get those unit producing structures in his main. A Lunatone is still being obnoxious with the force fields while he gets out those colossi. Uh, the first colossus is on the way. Not quite corner boosting that. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's the extended thermal lance. More force fields. Oh man, Avilo must be pissed. His marines just milling around at the front. The sea shank's not quite able to push out. Uh, it does look like there's another uh, pylon over here. The sea, the uh, force fields still keeping the Terran army inside. Oh boy, Avilo is probably just looking to double expand at this point. Another force field. Man, this must be absurdly annoying. Uh, oh, these sentries are well worth their money as of this point. Still sentries of it. Still four seals available, and four sealing that just as it runs out. Oh, keeping Avilo's expansion in for such a long time. Finally, going to be able to move out. We'll see uh, what Avilo tries to do to be able to come back in this game. Uh, Lunatone has had his natural expansion for quite a long time. If we look at the income tab, Lunatone is just so far ahead. However, this next expansion should be able to give Avilo a, such a huge bump, especially if he lands in at the uh, gold expansion. He should be trying to take that out soon if he does decide to do that. This one pylon over here going to get taken out. Did have a tiny bit of space to warp in, um, but that is not going to be happening during this game. Lunuto now moving forward with his first Colossus, and the extended Thermal Lance is now complete. Or is is now complete. There we go. And the second Colossus is on the way. It does look like there is a lot of Hellion harass. Oh man, I missed that down here for you guys. Sorry. That those Hellions getting a ton of kills. There used to be quite a bit of saturation down here. But it still looks like Lunatone is ahead in terms of harvester count.